welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today I want to show you this dish called drunken chicken. So normally I cook this dish during Chinese New Year because they freeze really well. So I'll make a bunch and then freeze them in the freezer. Whenever I need to eat it or I want to eat it, I just take it out and slice it up. So I always make it during Chinese New Year, but Chinese New Year's I'm always very busy cooking, preparing all the dishes. So I never have time to film it. So this time I asked my beautiful sister to film me while I'm making it. So I have some kitchen footage and then I'm gonna put them together to show you how we make this drunken chicken. It's not the most organized cooking video and it's not pretty lighting and all that. It's just really what I'm working. My sister just kind of documented for me and now I'm cutting them together, editing them together to show you how to make it. I do have one tip though. Most people will marinate the chicken with salt, but then there's one time I marinated with shiokoji Oh my god, this drunken chicken just got to another level. It's still very authentic, it's just got this extra umami that just elevate the whole flavor. So I'm gonna show you how I make it and how to make your own shiokoji. I'm gonna post the link somewhere up here and in the description box. So if you wanna learn, you can totally do that. It's one of the easiest fermenting that you can do at home. If you don't wanna use shiokoji, you don't wanna go through that trouble, that's totally fine, you can just use salt totally works because that's how most people do it anyways. All right, now let's just take a look at how I made the drunken chicken. You want to use the big chicken leg with the thigh and the drumstick. You can have your butcher debone it for you or you can do it yourself. And then I use the shiokoji to marinate it. Each chicken leg, I use about one and a half tablespoon of shiokoji. Make sure you give it a rub on both sides. After you're done with all the chicken legs, we just put it in the fridge and let it marinate for six to eight hours at least or overnight. Because I marinated in the shiokoji, so there's rice on top of the chicken after you marinate it overnight. So I rinsed it really well. And so that there's no more rice on top of it, just rinse really well. And then I pat dry, okay? And then what you do is you put a foil paper on top, aluminum foil, and then you want to roll it into a roulette. Is that hard to say, a roulette kind of thing? And then you roll it tight with the foil. Kind of pull it a little bit so it's tight. Rolling. You want to make sure it's tight. So when you cut them open, when you cook them and cut them open, it becomes like one circle. It doesn't break apart. So you want to really tightly roll it. Okay. And then give a good twist here. And then here too. When you twist, it's also tightened that bit more, okay? So, like this. Okay, and then you're gonna steam it. Okay, now I roll it all up, so I'm gonna steam this for 25 minutes, and then we're gonna check to make sure it's all the way cooked through, and then we're gonna drunk it. Drunken it. No, but anyways, make it drunk. Twenty-five minutes, so I took one out just to make sure it's all the way cooked before I take all of them out. So what you do is you kind of open it up. Oh, you want to poke it all the way in with the chopsticks, and then you squeeze out if there's no pink water coming out. So the water come out is clear. See that? Then it's cooked. So I'm gonna take the rest of them out. So when you open it, you will see that there's a chicken broth in there. Ooh, hot, careful. Uh, we wanna reserve that for our drunken sauce as much as possible. And then we put this in a Ziploc bag that can, you know, the freezer one, so it does well with heat. And I 
again, open it. And in each single one of them, just to be careful, I will check with the chopsticks to make sure that they are cooked all the way through. See, it's all clear juice coming out. So this is perfect. I wanna break the skin. It's very tender right now. Reserve the chicken broth and put the chicken in the back. Once you're done with all of it, you just want to submerge it under the cold water to cool it down right away. I'm gonna have to add more cold water on top, but then that's about it. And then we're gonna start mixing for the sauce. And then inside the bowl, there's still more chicken soup, so chicken broth. So we're gonna put it in to the cup for our sauce. Okay, now we just have to mix them all. Ingredients, so we use the chicken broth. And Shaoxing wine, that's what we use to get our chicken drunk, okay? You wanna use good Shaoxing wine, okay? Because you wanna get people drunk, be sincere, use good ones. Okay, and this is a key ingredient, a lot of people don't do it. This, in Taiwan, we use Xia You, okay, Ma Zhu Xia You. That is the best authentic flavor for drunken chicken. But then in the US, you can't get that. But then what is it? It's basically fish sauce with more some sugar in there. So you can totally make your own Ma Zhu Xia You with shrimp sauce. And I'm gonna put it in the description how I make my own uh, fish sauce mix for the drunken chicken. Just put this in. Okay, now, these are optional, but then to add some flavor, this is some, okay, this is some ginseng stuff. And some Chinese herb. <laughs> 当归, 当归, 人生须跟当归. Okay, put it in. And a couple of dates and some goji berry okay and then we're gonna bring it to boil now it's boiling i'm gonna turn the heat off and take it with me okay here's the thing if you like a stronger alcohol taste in the sauce then you don't want to boil it too much you just once it's boiled you take it right away so that the alcohol is not evaporated too much but if you don't like it to be such strong alcohol flavor then you boil it for a little longer and taste it until you know till you like it but i like it strong so i'm gonna just boil and then take it out and then i'm gonna try to cool it down so that when the chickens cool down i can just pour it into the bag and let the chicken swim in the alcohol sauce. <laughs> I am so tired right now. It's so late. I'm burning midnight oil because Chinese New Year's in a couple days and I'm still not ready. I really shouldn't be filming, but you know, I love you. So I do this. Okay? <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Now the chicken's cooled down and the sauce is cooled down. Cooled down so I'm just gonna pour it into the bag because I'm making a lot if you don't make this much it will be easier but you just want to make sure they're all submerged underneath the sauce swimming in the alcohol lucky chicken overnight in the fridge and then you're ready on the day that I serve it on Chinese New Year, I was too busy and we forgot to film how I cut the roulette. Since it's a cold dish, it's really straightforward. It's just take it out of the drunken sauce and then slice it into the thickness that you desire. And plate it, drizzle some sauce and put some goji on top of it and serve it. If you like this recipe, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.